Hello students, it's time for the big project. So we've been doing e equations for the entire week with uh, Excel. Now we're gonna put that all to the test. So what I have here is I have the United States population and I got these numbers, literally they're just numbers off of like, you can Google this. I'm pretty sure it's also in the workbook, but actually no, considering the workbook came out in 2010, I had to have clearly done this and uh, uh, with uh, Googling it. But anyway, those are your numbers. You can literally just copy and paste those numbers right here for the total populations. But, uh, so what we have is we have a total population and the percentage change. So I want you to figure out from 1995 to 2000, how did you get this number? This is not literally just me typing a number. This is an actual equation. Everything that's in this blue text down here is an equation. So going from this number to this number, you're going to make a working equation to figure that out. From this number to this number, there's going to be a working equation to get to that. From this number to this number, there's going to be a working equation to get to that. So, that's the first part. You're going to get working percentage changes from each of these cells. Then, the next bit that you're going to do is we're going to calculate the average, the weighted, the maximum, and the minimum. So, there's going to be four different ways we're going to assume the population is going to grow in the future. If it goes by the average of these numbers, it will expand this way. If it's going by the weighted average, by the way, how are you weighting things? Well, this number is more important than this number, which is more important than this number, which is more important than this number, which is more important than this number. Same with the percentages. 2015 is more important than 2010. 2010 is more important than, 20, than 2005. 2005 is more important than 2000. 2000 is more important than 1995. So, if it goes from a weighted average, this is where we project the, the uh, population will go. If we have the maximum, figure out which one of these is your maximum population percentage changing. Obviously, you notice the, the max that goes up by is 6.14. So, if it's going by the maximum, every single cell is going up by 6.14 percent. Now, and then of course, what's your minimum? Your minimum appears to be 3.66. So if we're going to have it go up by the minimum, it's going to go up like this. So really, all you're doing, everything in here is an equation. Every single one of these guys is an equation. None of that is a hard-coded number. If I change myself, like say like this, and I say, oh, that's actually we had ourselves a bad apocalypse or something. We, we, we lost, you know, two digits worth of numbers. You see how all of that changed. Everything down here changed. All these things right here changed. So the only things that are hard numbers is this first row right up here. These are equations. These are equations. These are equations. Everything else is an equation and will auto-update when you change the numbers. So, if I change a number and I don't see anything change here, or I don't see anything change here, then that means you've done it incorrectly. But you already know how to do averages. You already know how to do weighted averages. You know what the minimum and the maximum formulas are. So once you figure that out, and you figure out the per percentage changes, then you can just go on and do this bit. How do you do this bit? Well, what's the 2020 number? The 2020 number for average is, you know, the 2015 number, you know, with the average added on. The weighted one is the 2015, and then the 2025 is, you know, 2020's number with the same average added on. 2030 is the 2025 with the same average added on. 2035 is 2030 with the same average added on. So whatever, these numbers will just keep building off of each other using the same thing. Hmm, I wonder if you might have to, you know, remember a cell or something when doing that if you're going to keep using the same cell in part of your equation. And of course, weighted is the same way. Okay, 2015 number plus the weighted average is your 2020 number. You know, 2025, weighted average, 2020. 2030, 2025, 2035, 2030, so on and so forth. Same with maximum and minimum. So, you're essentially just doing the same thing four different times but with four different potential areas of how the population in the United States will grow. So, with that being said, you already know how to do this. 
You already know how to make percentage changes. You already know how to make weighted average changes. You know how to make an average, a minimum, and a maximum. Go back and look through your previous assignments if you're having trouble. Go back and look through the previous videos if you're having trouble. On this one, you're on your own. I know you can do it. You have an entire week to do this. So don't get paranoid. Don't fret. Go ahead. Work on it in class. Work on it at home if you need to. And uh, next week, we'll be having our uh, midterm. So we'll be going over some questions about Excel and... We'll be making, you know, stuff like that. And then after the midterm's done, we're going to be moving on to access. So you have a great day and uh, enjoy class.